Springs, Mr. Bill Moyes, who wrote the book Smart and uh, offer something for sale and then be as cheap as possible with everything you do, sir. Only to find out once we got here, you don't even want us to use the air condition. Called my wife and demanded that we leave the house. Why don't you see who that is taking picture? Next problem. Security. You're gonna probably feel some pain from this video. Wow. Did you see what happened to Grant Cardone? I've been getting texts from all my friends and all my real estate colleagues. They said, you got to see what happened to Grant Cardone and his nightmare Airbnb. He apparently had a crazy run in with a crazy Airbnb or VRBO guy that was stalking him, using his cameras, going in front of his house, not letting him go under 70 degrees on his AC. This is an insane video, guys. I'm going to give you my quick reaction to what his situation had in Colorado and Grant's family, what they were going through with this nightmare Airbnb. Let's watch. Now, I'm not the Airbnb VRBO expert, but I wanted to give you my detailed reaction from a real estate investor's perspective on the legal ramifications of this and just, just a plain reaction of how crazy this whole situation was with one of the most famous real estate and finance guys in the whole world. All you guys out there, Airbnb, VRBO, uh, renters, you guys that wanna make money, taking your house, renting it out. Look, if you're gonna be in the game, if you're gonna be in the rental game, if you're gonna try to be the real estate mogul, like my friend over at 64 Polo in Colorado Springs, Mr. Bill Moyes, who wrote the book, Smart Investing for Busy People. I'm sure one of the chapters, Mr. Moyes is, uh, offer something for sale and then be as cheap as possible with everything you do. Oh, he is angry off the bat there. Wow. What could you do to make Grant Cardone so angry? Jeez, Let, let's look up the address real quick. 64 Polo Drive in Colorado Springs. As I can see here, look at that. Wow. That is a beautiful home. Wow, here's some old MLS pictures of the house. As you can see here, I mean, that thing looks beautiful. Looks like a $1.4, $1.5 million home. What could Bill Moyer do so much to make Grant Cardone mad? Sir, I cannot believe how you treated my family, my wife and two little girls while they were in your home. Uh, we were so excited to come to your house. Beautiful gardens. Beautiful gardens, shows well online. Only to find out once we got here, you don't even want us to use the air condition. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's July. What do you mean is when you use the air conditioning? Okay. And then called my wife and asked her, demanded, that we leave the house. And that's a big no-no, you can't do that. Especially those Airbnbs, the RBOs. Uh, because we because we lowered the air condition below 60, what? <laughs> Dude, hold up. What's, let me look up here. What's Grant Cardone's net worth? Greg, his net worth is over $300 million. That dude doesn't deserve to have the AC over 72 degrees. Wow. Below 70, okay. Now, it's one thing to have request. It's another thing to have it in the lease, sir. Okay, that was not a requirement or a contingency upon leasing your property. Uh, here's somebody taking pictures of the property right now. That's cool. Someone's taking pictures of <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare right here. Why don't you see who that is taking pictures? See, right now I have a white truck taking pictures, which brings me to the next problem. Security. Okay, that man, that, the next problem is once we checked in, sir, uh, you continued to uh, spy video. I don't even know what to say. Using the ring button, 
doorbell cam and other cams that you have in your home, you continue to collect information about the ongoings uh, of the uh, of our family. I got two little kids, man. He has cameras and he's recording them. If you look over there, what is that? He put a little thing on the on the ring camera. Oh my gosh, that's that's terrible. Wow. That's like a that's a serious violation. You can't do that. So it's beautiful. It's a hundred percent illegal. As a hundred percent illegal. Gorgeous home. Okay. I thought you were wow. nice to But you see, I had to come in here and put it. <laughs> exactly what I said. I thought you fairly priced it. I thought it was fairly priced, didn't you, Elena? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For what we got, I've stayed it. Look, look. Look, know. she's going Singapore, and she's Dubai. shutting it as fast as possible. Uh, <laughs> she's freaked out. Days Grant's daughter's freaked out. Wow. You know, we're actually looking at a home here uh, up at uh, Castile Creek up in Vail. You might know it. You might want to look it up, sir. See how somebody, see how, see how people that do real estate do it right. Uh, but I just want to tell all, all of you in the Airbnb, the, the uh, VRBOs, you guys are going to take your homes. Uh, oh, by the way, I think 64 Polo really nice is also though. used as a research firm's address. Mm. Again, goes to show the frugality. Mr. Moyes uh -oh. pinching every penny, utilizing where he raised his children. His three beautiful children, by the way. And also operates his home and then rents it out. When, I think last mm. month you were in Florence, sir. You guys went off to Florence. Hopefully I paid for Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> he's, a, he's really attacking this guy. I don't think I've heard Grant Cardone really dig into a, a physical guy's character as much as I've seen here. He's at, he lists the, the address and the dude's name on there. Uh, not because of the rent, but because you, you wouldn't let us use the air conditioning, sir. He's not letting him use the so air silly. conditioning. Wow. Okay. So silly. So look, uh, for all of you in the VRBR, the uh, Airbnb, if you're going to get in the game, two things. Number one, take care of your client. Meet them too. Meet them at the property and walk them through. Three, if you have any exclusions, like, hey, you can't He's use schooling them. You have to have that as part of the lease going in. <laughs> or, once you give them the keys, wow. ladies and gentlemen, getting a tenant to leave is almost impossible. You can't just merely say, leave my property. I want you off the That's property true. now. I mean, you cannot do it, okay? Uh, we have two service cats with us right now, sir. Service cats, by law, are allowed in your home. Whether you want kitties here or not, it don't. Remember that. There's a service dog or an animal on a rental property. You have to keep them. They have the. I don't know if you can even ask documentation in Colorado. You don't have a choice in it. So if you're going to be in the rental game, the landlord game. If you're going to be in the four thousand dollar deposit, that kitchen could use some updating. Though, ain't gonna lie. Game. She's really upset, Mr. Moyes. If you're going to be in the game, if you're going to play the real estate game, you've got to learn, you've got to understand that you lose many, many of your rights as an owner once you turn the keys over to the people that you agreed to rent. Crack knows it's the stuff. Of, it's part of capitalism, sir. You should <laughs> know that from your book. It didn't do that well on Amazon, I noticed. Oh. So, uh, message out to all the real estate investors nice home anybody that wants to rent in colorado springs 64 polo colorado springs the landlord the owner here his name is bill moyes bill b-i-l-l-m-o-y-e-s he's really digging hard uh, beautiful little office here got a lot done made a bunch of money while i was here Mr. Oh. Moyes. appreciate you sharing the office with us um also, you know, you got to understand, I mean, I don't think there's a video exclusion on the house. Do you, Elena? Maybe there's one in the tenant, the tenant box. See the stuff, your pain prescription, obviously. You're going to probably feel some pain from this video. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Dude, that's the problem. Marketing. Marketing. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's a good book. Oh, right? Great. Grant Cardone's followers are ruthless. They are going to be attacking this dude. I really hope Grant doesn't make a video about me. I think I said that too soon. Well, marketing. Uh, this marketing right here, this marketing. Reposition, you need to reposition your your, your, your thinking on, your, on, 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 the, on the rental property. <laughs> crisis economics. The first way to get yourself in a crisis, sir, is to rent something out. Profiting from the world's economic crisis, which brings me to the last thing, <laughs> Mr. Morris. Do you know, sir, right now there's a thing called the COVID-19 crisis. You didn't test us when we came in the home. Wow. You didn't provide documentation saying the place was COVID san sanctuary free or whatever. Are they supposed to you test responsibility you? Responsibility to do those things, sir. I'm asking. I have no idea. I, I don't really rent these Airbnbs out. One of us was sick in the house. Got sick in the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was nothing checked, no temperature checks. You had vendors coming over here, no no temperature checks. You got vendors coming over here without calling us. And I got two little kids in the house. Shame on you, sir. You guys are going to be home there. Could be do some updates, no. thing. Okay? It's a nice little house, though. 64 Polo. You guys coming to Colorado Springs, strongly, strongly advise you. Do not rent this house, okay? Because uh, you're going to get a review. One of the requests Mr. Ooh. Morris actually made from us was what, Elena? Hey, get out of the house, but don't do a review on Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you gotta use such an amateur, sir. Be great. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I, I've been in quite some Airbnbs during my time and I don't think I've ever seen or experienced anything that crazy before. Man, I feel so bad for Grant here, but that is a literally crazy video. I can't believe that someone would do that. If, if I knew Grant Cardone was going there, first of all, uh, you would have to be top notch. I would make sure that everything was perfect in it because if you do anything wrong, he will be attacking me here. That is so crazy. Look, if you even look at the description, Bill Moyes, a fund manager and author, is a flop. Money book on Amazon rents his home at 64 Polo as a side hustle, which Moyes also operates a, a business from. Unbeknownst to my wife, who rented the cute little house on VRBO, Moyes doesn't want log guests using air condition, spies on guests via robo cams, and sent vendors to the house repeatedly without warning the household, despite the families informing the landlord is a bleep need for privacy. The Cardone family has repeated footage of the house having photos of the family being taken, which are employed by Moyes. Oh my gosh, wow. Let's read some of the comments here. Sorry to hear that, Mr. Cardone, and that's messed up. At that moment, Mr. Bill realized, he <laughs> wow, that is absolutely terrible, guys. This is a stark warning for you. Be very careful if you are actually renting an Airbnb out or a VRBO. You guys need to be at one of the top pristine houses. You gotta make sure you get temperature checks for people. You gotta make sure that your clients these people renting it out are happy with the service you're providing because a bad review like this, even a one star on VRBO could wreck your whole investing on your on the Airbnb side of things. So I guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I was gonna make a, actually one of my first videos, besides the intro is gonna be my story, which is coming out tomorrow. But I, I looked at the story, I thought it was literally insane. And I wanted to get my reaction out there as quick as possible so you could hear what my actual reaction was. I actually saw like five seconds of this video. I decided I wanted to hop up in front of the camera here and uh, give you my reaction. But this is literally insane, guys. Um, it, that's crazy, man. I hope Grant the best here and I hope he uh, enjoys his stay on anywhere in Vail. Have a good one.